<laughs> no more swearing because I'm live. Hello, hello, hello. Here we go. Oh, let's just maneuver that out of the way. Get the comments on. Comments on. How's the table wobble situation? Hello, hello. Have I frozen? Oh, you're freaking joking. No, I haven't frozen. Just bear with me a second, ladies. I'm just going to double check to make sure everything is right in the world and it's not. And I'm back again. Okay, hopefully I will go uninterrupted this time. For some reason, the Wi-Fi flicked over. All right, am I moving? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, welcome back. Look what I just got in. For those eagle-eyed people who have um, been stalking the website, I do know that there are a few of you. This is the new Tim Holtz colour. Um, Kish, I can't say it. Kitsch, I want to say Kish. Kitsch. It's Kitsch Flamingo. So let me very quickly show you where what it looks like, okay? Uh, I thought I would just, I mean, yes, I've done a swatch and it's dried, uh, but in comparison to some of the other colours in the collection, let me have a quick look. All right, so I'm going to pop that about here. And that is the, um, we'll call it the KF. And then I've also got raspberry. So raspberry is a bit darker. That's nice. Festive berries is really lovely. I'm going to use those two today. Uh, what else have I got here? Worn lipstick. Mm -mm -mm. So for those of you who are just tuning in, sorry, I should have started with an introduction, but I'm a little bit excited about this guy. Walked in the door not all that long ago. Um, so for those of you just joining in, my name is Natalie and welcome to my little live Facebook today where I've just been sidetracked by shiny things, as you do. Um... But, all right, so very quickly, to show you where this one fits in the big picture, here it is here. This is the new colour from Tim Holtz that walked in the door not an hour ago, and this is the, the Distress Oxide ink pad. So um, this one here is the Picked Raspberry, so you can see it's a little bit lighter, and then this one here is the Worn Lipstick. And that is a little bit more orangey based. Okay, so just to show you what is going on there. So what I'm going to do today as part of the Great International Craft Show, which is a fantastic online event, is I'm going to be uh, doing a little mini class on how to use the layering stamps from Altenew. So what I have got here is stuff everywhere uh i have a a few little cards that i have made and to show you how to use those stamps to create these cards today on nataliemay.com.au there is a fantastic daily deal where you can get 15 percent off stamps and stencils now that is the special for today only so what that means for you is that you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au and uh, the stamps and stencils, the prices are automatically calculated at the checkout. The special of the day will run until I go to bed tonight and then tomorrow there's going to be a brand spanking new special. The other special is that you only pay postage once we are going to bundle all the postage together. So you pay postage on your first order and then every order after that, we just ask that you select no judgment at the checkout and then your postage goes through at one cent. So we post them all, bundle it all together 
and you can and it gets posted on Monday or Tuesday. A um, couple of other quick things. Um, also online, you will find a 30% off section. There's some fantastic papers in there that are currently already marked down to 30% off. You will also find a pre-loved section on the page. I have got some really lovely pre-loved goods uh, and they have also been marked down uh, quite significantly as well. All right, so jump online to nataliemay.com.au um, and have a bit of a look. Hi, Sharon and Cherie from New Zealand. How are you, girls? <sighs> Sorry, coffee break. Okay, let's make something pretty. So these are the Ultra New stencils. Sorry, Ultra New stamps from. Oh, st sorry, the stamps from Ultra New. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to create on how to use these really, really easily. Um, so I mentioned in the previous class that when you purchase a product from Ultra New, majority of the stamps have got this really awesome little fold out in the packaging. And what that does is that shows you some fantastic color combinations as well as some information, care, how to use them, and also some really great ideas for, um, for your stamping and your layering. On the back here, it has a layering guide. So the layering guide will show you how to match things up. And that's what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to use the layering guide. Something else that's really cool that I didn't know about until I did a online class with Ultra New last month is that they are also numbered. So this is A1 and it says it right here, A2 and it also has A3. So I'm going to go through and show you how to use these. So I'll be making a card with um, a Distress Oxide ink and I'm also going to be using a uh, the Ultra New inks as well and showing you how easy they are because they come in a set of four. All right, enough of that. I'm going to be using a stamp press today as well. Um, I use the stamp press because it helps me line up all of my images in a guide. The other thing I'm going to be doing, because I messed up last time, because I'm human, I'm just going to give myself a a couple of bits of card in underneath. My stamp press is well used, is a mild understatement. Um, so I'm going to just put a, bit, a couple of extra pieces of card on mine just to build it up. I have some pre-cut six by four, so because I'm gonna be making a six by four card today. I'm pushing that piece of card right back down into that corner. And I'm going to use my magnet to hold that into place. And I have a little piece of washi tape on there to help the magnet stay, so I can hold the magnet, and so it doesn't move around. The In your pack, when you get these guys here, they have these little cards. So this opened up like that, and then this piece here was attached like that, and I cut it off. What these are, are these are guides to help you with your layering. So if you want to reproduce this image, you can. If you want to reproduce this image, you can. Okay. So I thought I might do this one here today. So I'm going to pop that aside. And I want to use it about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the outline stamp. So the out, I'm going to stamp this one here, and this is the stamp here, and this one here it has a number on it, and that number is, where's the number, D1, can't see it for looking, there we go, it actually says D1 right here on the plastic. So what's going to happen, if I line that up direct, directly on top like this, and close that down. That is, the stamp is going to stick exactly where I want it to go. I can move my layering guide out of the way and it's going to go exactly where I need it to go. 
so to start with I might do these this first lot in the distress oxides so I'm going to stamp with black soot to start with and I'm just going to ink onto my stamp it may be off camera I apologize for that push down Oh, missed a bit in the middle and this is the bonus of the stamp press is I can go back in and add more ink and do it again so these stamp presses are fantastic especially when you are doing this technique and I just got a little bonus bit of ink pad on that let's just use my tweezers to get it off perfect and I need to clean my stamp off All right, so I'm just going to pop that straight back onto whoops, straight back onto my mat, uh, straight back onto the clear sheet. The next one I'm going to be doing on here, then I'm going to follow the number. I want D2, which is this guy here. So D2 is going to give me a slightly different finish, and what I need to do is pop it into position about there so I'm actually it may not show on camera but I can see these little guides here to show um, to show us show me exactly where it needs to go and now I'll do exactly the same thing push down and I just noticed that my magnet moved at the top or I didn't stick it down properly whichever it was we just go like that and I'm going to use the new flamingo color which is super juicy and inky straight down on top oh look at that fabulous take that little bit of ink off and I will wipe these down um, off camera a little later and pop that back on the mat the other really cool thing about these is your packaging generally shows the, um, you, it will show how they're all linked together as well. So it will show you what ones go with what. Can you see that there's a line that runs around the stamped areas? Okay, so you can see that those ones will go together. These ones will go together. So the next one I want to go with is D3, which is this guy here. And D3 is going to sit where? About there. That works for me. Pop the arm down. Grab my next colour, which is going to be picked raspberry. Give it a nice little tap of ink there. So that gives me a slight shade darker or oh, not really dark enough though so I'm just going to re-ink again that's a bit better and I'll bring it up to camera so you can kind of whoops sorry there we go so you can see what we're up to and then the last color I'm going to do is going to be festive berries so that in a moment and then I've got D4. D4 is only a little one. Um, in fact D4 I might do that on a different with a different color in a moment. All right so that has given me which I can't pick it up there we go. See that's given me that beautiful layering. Very nice. Okay. So the next one that I want to put on, was it that one I'm doing? No, God, I'm losing it already. I'm doing this one. I need to use this stamp here. So this time I'm going to need to move over a bit because I'm going to have, I'm going to be stamping off the page a little. Okay. So I've got my guide set up about there. And then my 
top flower here. I want to use that one now. And I know that it's going, I want it to go about there. So let's just have a look and go, yeah, right, about there. So what's happening here though is I'm going to need to mask off some of this area. So there's a couple of ways that you can mask off that area. You can do it by stamping onto a post-it note and then cutting it out. I am too lazy for that. I have got the airbrushed flowers stencils that go with it here. So what I can do, wrong one, take that out is I've got the little masks here. Oh, goodness me. And I'm going to layer that. So if I didn't have the stencil, you can then use, like I said, stamp onto a post-it note, cut it out with a pair of scissors, but I want it to go about there. So you can see how that works. Close the door. And that's where it's gonna go, okay. So again, I'm going to stamp with black soot. Tap, tap, tap. Straight down. Nice, even pressure. And that is looking pretty fantastic. So that is stamp number one. And I'm leaving that mask in place because I still need it for all the layers. Now I need Stamp number two. So this one here says on it A2, so I'm just going to peel that off. And this one, you just need to twist it just a little to line it up it takes just a second to blink to get it right rather than just pressing it straight away if you don't have a uh, stamp press you can use a stamp block it will work you just have to have a little bit more patience than i do and a bit more coordination than i do which, trust me, it's not a whole lot today. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty good. So I can peel that off and I can grab another one. So the third one is going to be on my sheet, just off camera, is A3. So again, like I said, they're all numbered to make life really, really simple for you. And then this one. goes about there and I'm going to go with festive berries I'm going to make this one a little darker tap 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 press yes gorgeous all right lids on so that's using the I've got festive berries kitsch flamingo and picked raspberry in distress oxides with a little black soot. And I'll bring that up to camera to show you. Okay, so you can see that I've got the mask there. So a post-it note would do exactly the same thing. What I would like to do next is I'm going to do, I'm gonna add some leaves. So I'm gonna start with C1, so oh, look, it's one of those things, it's a, it's a, the glare's horrible, but there is a number on it, you just have to trust me on that one. And I want to add some stamping off to the side here, so I'm going to keep this mask in place. I need to anchor down my, uh, my piece of paper so it doesn't move. Pop 
this guy back on here and don't panic I will clean my stamps off in just a moment and for my greens I haven't tested these so I don't know how they're going to work but I do have a darker one here which is the rustic wilderness tap on the color gorgeous and I'm going to pop another one right here like that so how's everybody's day going in their part of the world are you all having a lovely afternoon I hope so all right, so the next color that I'm going to, uh, sorry, the next one I'm going to use is D2, which is, it's almost the full leaf. So I'm going to place that over the top. Ish. Uh, what's lighter, shabby shutters or peeled paint? I don't remember. Shabby shutters. ink on okay so what's happened here is my stencil has left a white gap around here there's a bit of a you can see that it hasn't stamped right to that edge so what I can do here is gently pick up my stencil and just move it a couple of millimeters So that, or, oops, hang on a minute. And stamp it again so that it goes down in that gap and a bit more elbow grease. There we go. And then I can move it back and do the same thing up there. So layering, stamp, layering stamps can be absolutely, absolutely gorgeous and super easy to use. It's just about getting them on in the right layers. When I did this the first time, I certainly didn't nail it. Um, and I didn't nail it that time too. It's a little bit off. But you know what? It's fine. Works for me. Um, so it does take a little bit of practice. Um, apologies if you can hear the dogs yapping in the background. They are doing zoomies around my uh, lounge room at the moment and having an absolute ball doing it by the sounds of it. Wrap bags. Okay, so I'm going to... I just can't see your comments. Sorry, girls. I use peeled paint this time. Peeled paint is just that little bit darker and it's going to give me another quick shade. Beautiful. And then I'm going to have to move this stencil back just a fraction to get the overlap. Okay. So the Ultra New Stamps are 15% off for today only. Ladies, they're not going to be 15% off tomorrow, okay? Just to give you a bit of a heads up. Something far more awesome and super very awesome is going to be on special tomorrow. Um, so you will want to take advantage of that. I'm just going to do one more quick leaf with a different shape to show you how easy it is. So I'm going in with number one. And I need to get the other mask, which is lost it on my desk here so instead of so if you don't have the masks which are available you can get just use a post-it note to cut out that image that will work really really well it's a little bit more fiddly so I've got the green
is number one. Then I've got number two, which is going to be the more bold, almost a solid color. And that will be in shabby shutters. And finally, number three. So like I mentioned, and you can just see off camera, you can see the, the line that marks around those three there. So I know that all of those three go together and I don't have to think about it at all, which is a win for me. The less thinking, the better. And that is what I love about these. It tells you exactly what order they need to go in. And the last one is peeled paint. So pick it up on the back of the stamp press. All right, winning. Peel that baby off and I'm going to bring that up to camera. All right, so you can see how the layering stamps work. You can see where I went a little bit off on that leaf just on there and they just look really, really good. So the last thing I want to do on this particular card is add a sentiment and I'm going to be lazy and use my stamp block, which no doubt I'm going to regret the minute I do it, but you know what? It's fine. I'll commit to it, hey? Now, I'm adding the festive berries because it needs a bit of balance. Because this red here stands out, I need to add a little bit more red somewhere, okay? Yes, I love that. Simple little hello and we are done for that. So in the space of 15 minutes, you can do a gorgeous card. You can production line them really, really easily as well. So that is using the collection called Airbrushed Flowers from Altenew. And it is super, super simple to use. Um, I'm going to do another one using a different stamp set and I'm going to also use the inks, the Altenew inks, to show you how they look in a different um, style of ink. So just, just a second while I pop the oxides aside. Um, take that one off of my stamp set. So these are stamps from the two, February 2000, oh, what's that called? 2021. 2021 collection uh, and they are they only arrived a couple of days ago they only just came out on line released by Alter new yesterday i think it was so that's fantastic um all right the other set that i'd like to show you is called the beautiful day set and these are a couple of stamps i'm going to do this one i'm going to show you how i created this card in this color range okay um some of the other ones that i've got available at the moment we've got beautiful heart which is a really lovely much bolder flower much much bolder and that's a layering so with this one you go with one two three then you've got one two three oops sorry one two three there, there's the airbrush flowers that I just used. Then this is a new one, Our Friendship Blooms. So you can see how this has got that gorgeous um, lily and then all the layering bits to go with that. And it's got the layering guides on the, on the inside, remember your instructions, and the Queen Anemone one, which is super gorgeous. Like, look at that design across the top there. Um, really love that, okay? righty oh so let's whip this one up super quick for you and I'll show you how easy how easy it is all right so I'm going to use one lot of inks only so this is the the warm gray set of inks from Altenew I've got 
my stamp set here. Okay, I'm gonna pop that there and anchor it at the bottom, anchor it across the top. And that is it for anchoring. Um, so the really cool thing about these um, ink sets as well is on the back, it tells you the order that they go in from light to dark. So that then that way you know what, what goes next, okay? What I like to do is put them out next to me in the order that they go in. Uh, so I've got morning frost, evening gray, moon rock, and lava rock. Okay. I've also got just off screen some black archival ink, but I'm not going to use black archival ink actually. I'm just going to use the darkest one for my outline stamping. Um, and I'm going to start with the outline image first. Bless you, Louise. Good sneezing. So sticking it onto my mat and I'm going to start with this dark one and just give it a good ink. And this one is kind of like a, it's, I've forgotten that this one is more, because it's a warm grey, it's a bit more of a brown. So um, I'm going to go with a little bit of black over the top of that same colour. How about I use an ink pad that's actually got some ink on it? That would have been the smart thing to do. Oh, there we go, that's better. And now I want to, I'm gonna take some of that excess ink off here just with my piece of paper towel. And this time I want this one to go on an angle. Mm, I'll go down the page a bit, down the card about there. Okay, so right like that. I'm gonna be a bit cheeky and mix those two colors again. So I've got a bit of that darker brown first, straight down. And then it's kind of just giving me this really dark brown ink instead of a straight black. Um, which works just fine for me. All right, done, done. Okay, so the next one's going to be I might do the big bold one next. Okay, which has got some goobies on it, but that's okay. Let's commit to it. I didn't clean my stamp properly, obviously. So lining it up just around the outline there. And now I'm going to use my lightest color, which is Morning Frost, and give it a nice juicy application of Morning Frost, which is a really nice light gray color. Sorry if you get some camera shake there, but I'm really giving it a bit of love. You can see that gorgeous gray. So while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna go through the motions. I don't need to explain it every time. A um, Couple of other things that are happening at Natalie May Scrapbooking. We have released a luxury scrapbooking paper crafting retreat, and that is happening in May. So you will find all the information for it on nataliemay.com.au. You will also find it, uh, some, some frequently asked questions on my blog which is happydax.com, And what we are doing is we have got a three-day retreat happening in the beautiful Adelaide Hills. Uh, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is luxury cabins, a massive, big, fully heated and air-conditioned conference room. 
um, we have got lots and lots of great things happening um, and it is open to everyone. I have got lots of amazing ladies coming from interstate as well as local ladies. We have ladies from currently, I think half a Mildura is coming uh, and there's also quite a few popping over from Canberra, which is fantastic. Uh, so while borders are still open, etc., and everything is all rosy, uh, the retreat is definitely going ahead. South Australia has um, a, a welcoming at the moment, which is good, and we hope that that stays that way. Um, so if you are after some information, we will be putting in a flyer with your order and sending that out to you uh, Monday or Tuesday. And if you have any questions, you just need to flick me a message and I can help you out with that. Um, the other thing that's happening, if you are a local lady and you live here in South Australia, there is an all day event coming up where here in Adelaide, um, where we are doing a little mini retreat. So that is going to be held at Richmond, um, which is a couple of minutes out of the city. And we've got a beautiful big air conditioned venue. There will be free make and takes uh, over, the, over the day. And that event is, s what's the date, Louise? Having a brain February. fade. February 27th. There we go. February 27th, we are doing that event. So there will be a, yeah, free make and take. It's a mini retreat. Great opportunity to get out and craft with your friends. Um, I will have a percentage of my online shop set up there for you. Lunch is included uh, and it will be a great, great day. So I'm really, really looking forward to that one. And hopefully very, very soon uh, we'll be able to plan another one for um, perhaps June. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this up to camera just so you can see what I have done while I was chatting away. Um, you can see that there are three, I'll use those, sorry, four colours. And you can see the layering. I haven't nailed it by any means, but that's okay because it's craft. All right, so now I'm just gonna add some leaves around the outside. So I've just chosen this lovely little bush and I'm going to get rid of this in the background. And I'm just gonna add some lovely little florets around in this light Gray. And I'm not too fussed that I'm over stamping onto this one here because you don't really see it because it's such a lovely light grey. And yes, I could also do this with my uh, stamp press, but uh, for time purposes, I'm being lazy. And if you don't have a stamp press, it's very, very possible. So I'm going to go yep, there. And this gorgeous, gorgeous grey is probably... Not really showing up on camera, but I'll bring it up in a second. Um, I do have another live Facebook happening this afternoon, ladies. Uh, and that is going to be an art journal page using stencils and very possibly some stamps as well. Because um, I haven't planned it, so that's okay. But the, uh, and that will be happening at Adelaide time, 4.30. So um, it is currently 10 past two here where I am. So wherever you are, you just adjust your time zone accordingly. Uh, so yeah, so please pop back and join me for that. I would love to have you join in on my art journal page. I'm going to use, sorry, sidetracked. I'm going to use this stamp here that says sending you happy thoughts. And I'm going to pop it right there. Oh, gosh. Okay. And I'm going to do it in black. And I'm going to do it straight because it's currently 
not straight. So just bear with me half a second, ladies. See if I can do it without it moving this time. That looks a bit better. All right, so, so just some black ink. I'm just gonna tap that on. And this is another advantage of the stamp press. All going to plan. That will be straight. Nailed it. Nailed it. Look at that. And I really love that. I love that gray shadowed leaf in the background, that little cluster in the background. I love how that's, that looks. And it looks really simple and effective. That's the one that I, I did yesterday, just to show you. So that can look amazing in whatever color combination of inks that you use. If you don't have inks that are the same, if you continue to stamp over the top, you'll be able to build up color. Um, bless you, Louise. <laughs> Here is one that I made earlier and I used a yellow, I used an orange, I just used two colours on my flower and that looks great. I'm really happy with that one with some nice bold leaves. I will mat that on a nice piece of orange cardstock and that will bring out that orange that's in the centre of the flower. So that's how, it, you, how easy it is to use Alternew layering stamps. They can be a little bit scary at first when you look at them and go oh my goodness me that's a lot but that's that's not hard um this one i did yesterday and i did not use that outline stamp so you can see here that it's exactly the same stamp but i didn't give it that outline so it's kind of got that no line watercolor effect to it and especially the leaves that looks so good um so yeah you, you've there's so many very awesome things that you can do. Now, they are all the stamps and all the stencils are 15% off until the end of today. So that is today's special only. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Have a bit of a look-see. We have got a huge range of stamps available. So I'm talking Dina Wakeley stamps. I'm talking... Oh, Tim Holt stamp, Stampers Anonymous, Stamping Bella, Waffle Flowers brand new releases. We have got Art by Marlene. We have got La La Land stamps, Lawn Fawn, Avery Earl, All and Create. Hit me with some other names, Lou. What else have we got? Paper Rose, huge range of Paper Rose. AB Studio. AB, AB Studio stamps. Um, Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz, yep, got that. Got that. What's in that basket? Avery Earl. Avery Earl. Oh, James Lawn Davenport, Lawn Fawn. So you get the gist, all right? There's so many stamps there. And they will automatically be discounted at 15% off on your in, your in your checkout, in your cart. Now, there are limited supplies left of... Where is it? God, I've lost it already. Hang on. Of the... No... No, no, no. Oh, gosh. That one. Okay. Kitsch Flamingo. So that is in stock in the Distress Oxide Spray, the Distress Oxide Re-Inker, the Distress Ink is here, the Distress Glaze is here. I am still waiting on my shipment of Distress Ink Refills and Distress Ink... Sorry, Distress Paint. Um, and I should have the balance of the shipment in and full restocks um, maybe in about six days' time. So um, I've made a bit of a start on getting those in. Oh, look, they match my fingernails. How pretty. Um, okay. Can I please pay for postage? And can you please pay for postage on your first order? So if you are doing an order and you haven't ordered with me before, you pay for postage on your first order. On your second order and your third order and your fourth order, you select no judgment, okay? So um, I will put up a bit more information about that on my Facebook page and the website. Okay, ladies, thank you so very much for, for joining in. Um, I appreciate your patience and while I've been waffling on, I'll put some photos up of these cards. As per usual, I will link up exactly what I have used so you'll be able to find it nice and easy. 
Um, hope you're all having a fabulous day and I will see you back here at 4.30 for another free live mini class. See you soon.